Hey guys, welcome to this video on Big O. So here we have another problem. Uh, we want to show that five times n belongs to Big O of n. And in the green rectangle, I have the definition of what it means for a function to belong to Big O of another function. Now, before we get started, I have many videos on this topic and uh, I have some other videos online that I put a link to for some tutorials on how to really understand Big O and big omega and big theta and those type of topics on algorithm analysis and i'll be sure to put a link to to those tutorials in the description below so check those out but anyways for now let's go ahead and get started so the definition states that a function f of n belongs to and this right here symbol means belongs to Okay, so it's used uh, a lot in set notations. So it belongs to big O of another function, which we call g of n. Now, this is only true if f of n grows less than or equal to some constant that we call m times that function, g of n, for all values of n greater than or equal to some constant that we're going to call k. And again, both m and n I'm sorry, both m and k are positive constants, all right? n is a variable, so n is not a constant, all right? So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is identify our function f of n. So f of n is equal to 5 times n. And now where did I get this from? Well, we got it from right up here, okay? And then we want to identify our function g of n. And g of n is equal to n. Now, where did I get that from? Well, I got that from right there. Okay? So, so far, so good. And what we want to prove or show to be true, we want to show that f of n is less than or equal to m times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, so if I rewrite this and plug in now for f of n and g of n, we're going to plug in 5 times n and n. So we rewrite this, we get 5 times n is less than or equal to m times n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. Now, you may ask, well, what is um, k and what is m? Well, they're just some positive constant values. So we can make up our own values or guess our own values for m and k that would make this statement true. So let's do that. We're going to guess uh, a, a value for m. So I'm just guessing that m equals, we'll go with uh, 2. And k is going to equal uh, let's go with, mm, let's go with, I'm trying to think of something here, maybe 10. All right. So now let's rewrite our equation. And if we do, we get 5 times n is less than or equal to 2 times n for all values of n greater than or equal to 10. All right. So is this true? Well, maybe. We don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by n. And if I do that, then we get 5 is less than or equal to 2. for all values of n greater than or equal to 10. 
and that's not true. 5 is uh, greater than 2, so maybe our guess was wrong. So what we can do is we can guess some other numbers for our constant values m and k. So let's erase this. And let's guess some other values. So this time I'm going to guess that m is equal to, we'll go with 10. And k is equal to 1. All right. So now we rewrite our equation. We get... 5 times n is less than or equal to 10 times n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. All right. And now I can divide 5 times n on both sides. So we're just going to get 1 is less than 2 for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. Now this statement is true. 1 is always less than or equal to 2. As a matter of fact, 1 is strictly less than 2. And it will always be less than 2 no matter what the value of n is in this case. So. I can put three dots here, which stand for therefore. So therefore, f of n belongs to big O of g of n. And this implies, and usually you see like a little arrow for imply. So this implies that five times n belongs to, and sometimes people say is as well, or equal. So 5n belongs to, or is, or equals big O of n. And that is our answer. All right. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I have uh, tutorials on algorithm analysis and Big O, and I put that link in the description below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next video.